If you are a quad dominant person, which can be from the sports you've played, it can be from sitting a lot, I think it can even be genetic, but what it means is that you tend to have more tone and power in the front of your hip as opposed to three dimensionally, and it has an effect on your hip. You will lose range of motion, start to lose hip capacity. This is one of my biohacks to get you out of that pattern. So when you squat, you have infinite options of how to do it. Now I'm not talking about doing your one RM or three RM in the gym. This is just when you sit down in a chair when you need to go pick something up. Try to use a hip strategy, which means you initiate the movement by hinging at the hip versus a ankle knee strategy where the hip doesn't really move that much. You initiate with the knee and the ankle. If you really want to train this pattern, grab onto a rack or a door frame or kitchen sink and let's really get the weight back. So set up, core on, shoulder blades connected, feet a little turned out, a little wider than shoulder width, and I love it if you can either split the floor to get even more nutritious movement through here and tone or corkscrew out and then begin by pulling the hips back. And you can just work a depth that is comfortable if you're not used to squatting, and then begin to really see if you can reclaim the depth. So make sure you don't butt wink. You wanna stick that tailbone out and get maximum length through the back of the hip and go find your depth. However, I want your knees always driving out, especially when you reverse from the basement and come back up. Drive out, drive out, drive out, drive out.